installment credit. So the two, the credit bureaus like to see you have a mix of them. You know, they want you to have some of both, right? Um, because then it says that you're more responsible in their eyes. It says you're more responsible. So if you only have, say, two, um, since we're talking about an installment loan with a, you know, self lender or a peer to peer loan, if you only have two revolving or, I mean, two installment loans, then one of them goes away. Now your mix isn't as great. You might have three, four credit cards, but now you only have one loan, one installment loan. So your credit score may go down. So that's the kind of things that happen. The nuances when it comes to credit, because people call me all the time, send me messages. And you can do that, too. You can call me 312-600-5855. Call me there. Or you can even send me a text message to that number. 312-600-5855. Or email me. 800 at creditscoreman.com. That's 800 at creditscoreman.com. Or catch me on any social media, right? So that happens all the time. People send me things saying, hey, what is going on? I just paid off my vehicle and now my credit score has gone down. It was going up and going up and going up. Now my credit score is going down. So this is something that you need to be aware of and to watch out for. All right. So I know you got all that down. So let's take a pause for the calls right quick. Let's take this pause. We're in the middle of the show, and uh, let's do our question of the day today. So the question of the day comes from Jason. Jason is out of Indiana, and so his question uh, started out with, and he emailed me his question. So email me, 800 at creditscoreman.com. That's where you can catch me. Again, that number I just gave out, which was 312-600-5855, and you can also catch me and DM me, inbox me, I'm 800 Credit Score Man on Facebook, on Instagram. I'm the same thing. 800 Credit Score Man on Twitter. Um, at Credit Score underscore Man. If you need a Twitter Twitter follower, follow me. I will follow you back. So I'm um, at Credit Score underscore Man on Twitter. So um, you can answer me, ask me questions any and everywhere that you can find me. Okay. So Jason said, "Now what? I've got my score up in the mid 700s by listening to your show." I did a consolidation loan to get rid of cards, but I also had to charge them a little, and my utilization is now 40%. Got a new car loan, too. What next? So, Jason, thank you so very much for contacting me, Jason, from Indiana. I appreciate it. Um, and it's a very good question. And first of all, thank you for listening to the show. And I'm so glad that the uh, information that I've given you and given out has helped you increase your credit scores. I don't know exactly where you came from. So I don't know if you were at 580 and now you're in the mid 700s or you were at 650 and you know now you're in the mid 700s. But um, thank you very much. I appreciate you listening to the show. Please share the show. And that's for everybody. All you guys out there listening, please share the show. Help your friends and your family get their credit scores up. That's no good for you to be able to go on vacation and drive a nice new fancy car and then your buddy's driving up in a jalopy, right? That doesn't help anybody, right? So you go ahead and you share the show with your people. And Jason, do me a favor. Do yourself a favor. Get Five Pillars of Credit, the ebook that I wrote. Um, on Amazon, go to Amazon and get five pillars of credit, get that book, $3, $3. And if you already have it, buy one for somebody else right there on the link, you can go ahead and send it to somebody else. It's an ebook. So they'll be able to get it. They'll be able to digest it all within a, a day for sure. And be able to refer back to it when it's time to get your credit done. So let's answer Jason's questions. What next? What should he be doing next? So I told Jason that time will keep everything going in the right direction. So you've done a bunch of things, you got your credit score up, and then now you have, um, you know, done and made some other moves, and they've all been in a relatively short period of time. So if you're in the mid 700s right now, and that's with a 40% utilization, then pay it down below below 30%. And you'll see an increase once you do that. So I don't know what how much money we're talking about. Maybe you spent five grand. Maybe you just spent, you know, two thousand bucks. So I don't know how much money we're talking about. But if you pay it down, do the calculation, figure it out. Thirty percent if you have ten thousand dollars worth of credit um limits, thirty percent is three thousand dollars. All right. So make sure you do the calculation, whatever your credit limits are overall, add all your credit cards up. Or if it's just the one card, whatever that limit is, and multiply it by 30% or 0.3. Multiply it by that. That'll give you the 
amount of money or the balance that you want to have your um, account at. So once you get to 30 percent, you're going to see an additional bump in your um, credit score. So if you're in the mid 750s now, it's a little harder to meet and to reach that 800 and definitely that 850. It's a little harder. You don't get all the points that somebody would if you're at 600. So all you people out there that are listening, you're at 600. If you pay down your credit utilization, then your um you're going to get a bigger bump than say somebody that's already in at like the 750 range you're going to get a bigger bump you can impact your score more if you have a lower credit score at the particular time so go ahead and make sure you pay it down to 30 percent or you can also and i think i mentioned this on last week's show you can get an increase in your credit limits so if you get an increase in your credit limits that absolutely impacts your credit utilization it's simple math So it impacts your credit utilization if you get a credit limit increase. So you can, Jason, you can ask for a credit limit increase on some or all of your credit cards. And if you receive those increases, those are going to help you help your credit utilization because it's going to bring your credit utilization down. And that's without you having to pay a dime. But you're going to continue to work on that to get out of that credit card debt anyway you already did it once you did the debt consolidation loan to take your utilization down to zero so now you're back up to 40 percent now you just need to get it back down so don't kill yourself trying to do it you already have a good credit score you're going to get pretty good interest rates across the board i don't know where you're at you said the mid 700s so if you're at 750 or above you're going to get the absolute best rates but say you're at 725 or you're at 730 you're still getting really good rates if you're doing other stuff if you're buying a home, if you're buying a separate property, a second property or something of that nature, you're getting good rates as it is. And you're getting good credit card rates and credit card offers and all that kind of stuff, right? So go ahead, ask for the credit limit increase. As long as you don't spend any additional money, you should be fine. That credit limit increase will lower your credit utilization and you're going to see a bump in your credit score. But continue to pay that down so you can get out of credit card debt. I just mentioned about like paying off your car and or paying off a, a student loan or paying off a self lender loan and it not helping your credit score, your credit score going down. It's the opposite way when it comes to credit cards. It's the opposite way. So you got a credit card, you start to pay that bad boy down, or you pay it off, as long as you don't close it, you see an increase in your credit report and your credit score. So make sure you go ahead and do those things. As long as you don't charge anything else, Jason, you're gonna be perfectly fine. So Thank you very much, Jason. You are officially a part of the 800 Credit Score Man Show family. Thank you. Thank you for uh, contacting me. And you guys can do the same. Contact me. Send me that email. You got questions. 800 at creditscoreman.com. And you, too, could become a part of the 800 Credit Score Man Show family. All right. So let's get back to um, building credit from scratch. All right. So, oh, let me throw out a couple of um, couple of more shout outs so we can get out of here. Lamont Perry, I got to say happy, happy birthday to you. Lamont Perry, a State Farm agent. Lamont Perry, happy birthday to you. Tressa Azarel, she celebrated her birthday. Um, she goes by, like on Twitter, at CEO Azarel. That's A-Z as in zebra, A-R-E-L. If you're looking to write a book, you have a manuscript, you want to create a show on TV or even a movie, this woman knows how to do it and she's very motivating so even if that's not the thing that you want to do in your life that's not your particular hustle but you need somebody to motivate you show you the path show you the way somebody to listen to um you need to follow this lady you need to follow tressa azarel tressa is t-r-e-s-s-a last name azarel a z as in zebra a r e l tressa azarel ceo azarel on twitter I listen, I follow her. She has 800 calls, you know, a couple times a week sometimes. I get in, I listen to the calls, all those things. They're very, very motivating. So you guys go check out Tressa Azarel. Narshonda Moore, she celebrates her birthday coming this Monday on the 19th. So happy birthday to you, um, Narshonda. And Ramon Morrison is celebrating his birthday, too, coming up this week. So, actually, Ramon's birthday might be today. Happy birthday to you, Ramon. Happy birthday, Ramon Morrison. Also a member of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated from the Alpha Chapter. Past Pole Market Indianapolis Alumni Chapter. Happy birthday to you, um, Brother Ramon Morrison. All right. So, we talked about self-lender. 
here's something else you can do. You can do a credit builder loan. Yes, there's a loan out there to help people build their credit as well. Most banks may not have them, but credit unions do. And I'm pretty sure I did a whole show around this whole thing. Go back, look for um look for that. Look for credit builder loan if you're searching for it or look for um look for something talking about credit unions in one of the show titles and that'll help you out too. So yes, a credit builder loan will absolutely help you build your credit, all right? The way it works kind of works like a secured card. So a secure card is when you give a bank or company or whatever 500 bucks. That becomes your credit limit. And then you use the card back and forth. So if you don't have any credit at all, you know, that's something that you can do. You can get, you know, you can use the secure card for that. And same thing with this credit builder loan. You're going to go get a loan. You don't have to give any money up front. So if this is absolutely for the person that doesn't have that 500 bucks to give a credit card company, you don't get the money. You go get a loan, but they don't give you the money in hand. Then you make payments on it. It's reported to your credit bureau. Make sure it reports to all three before you sign papers and you pay back this particular money to the credit union, credit union, credit union. You hear me? You pay back this money um, to the credit union. And at the end of the term of whatever the loan is, so you borrow, quote unquote, borrow 500 bucks, 800 bucks, a thousand bucks. When you pay that money back, then they give you the cash. So it's almost like a forced savings account almost. You pay all the money back, they give you the cash. The interest rates are usually pretty good. They're really good interest rates. And since it's a credit union, they don't take a whole bunch of fees and all that stuff. You may get back the money that you put in plus interest, plus interest, right? The money that you paid plus interest. So a credit builder loan is very good. It's also very good just if you want to go get a loan to force yourself to save you want to save for christmas you want to save for something that's coming up you know you're trying to um you know buy somebody something you want to buy your kid a nice used car or whatever it is you want to force yourself to save that money and basically get a little bit of interest at the end do a credit builder loan go to your credit union get that done a secured loan pretty much a secured loan works like it's secured by something so maybe you had a title to your vehicle or you have a title to your motorcycle or what have you. That's a secured loan. You can get a secured loan. And um, if the value exceeds what you're getting, so whatever, you, you own a motorcycle, your motorcycle is worth $5,000, you go in, you get a loan for 2000 bucks. then, of course, well, not of course, but yes, the bank says, hey, that makes sense to us because if he defaults on this loan, we're going to get a motorcycle worth 5000 bucks, and we only lend it him or her 2000 bucks right so that's how that works so a secured loan is something you can do personal loan as well that's not again that's not like me and gordon exchanging money that's not the same thing a personal loan there are companies out there that do personal loans they're pretty much unsecured they might ask you what's the value of some things in your home you have to list them you got a barbecue grill that's worth 200 bucks that kind of stuff you might have to listen those things that's um quote unquote for security, but nine times out of ten, ninety nine point nine 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 times if you don't pay them back, they're not coming to get your barbecue grill. Okay? But that's a personal loan. You can get a personal loan. The interest rates are very high, very high. Not as bad as you know, like the payday loans, but the interest rates are very high. But if you're using this to help you increase your credit and you have none, you gotta start somewhere. So that's a place you might want to go. Check those out. Um I have a uh, a list of two or three places that do personal loans. If you want to dive into that, contact me, 800 at creditscoreman.com or send me a text, 312-600-5855, and I will um, give you the name of a couple places that I would suggest that you go for a personal loan. A student loan, you can get a student loan. You don't need necessarily need credit to be, uh, get a student loan. You just need to be a student, right? So, that's a that's a possibility to help you start building some credit. A co-signer. I briefly mentioned this earlier when I was talking about, you know, your parents and maybe they'll help you out by being a co-signer on your first vehicle or, you know, some other kind of loan. A co-signer. You can get a co-signer that'll help you um, with the loan. The co-signer is financially obligated on this particular loan. So if you don't pay, then they go after the co-signer. If you don't pay on time, you mess up the co-signer's credit. You don't want to do that. You do not want to do that to somebody that is willing to go ahead and co-sign for something for you. So 
that's one of the caveats when it comes to being a cosigner. But yes, you can get a cosigner to help you start building your credit. Authorized users, one of my favorite things, right? So you can become an